I've skimmed over this passage so many times. And even if you've read through the Bible several times, I bet you've skimmed over it too. In John 5, 17, it says, But Jesus answered them, My Father is working until now, and I am working. Now, the context of this is that Jesus is being accused by religious leaders of working on the Sabbath, working on the day of rest. And he's responding to them, but instead of saying, no, the things that I'm doing aren't working, he actually shifts their paradigm upside down. And he says, my father, talking about God, God the Father, is working until now. He's still working, and so am I. Now, one of the things that's really interesting about this, and it, it blows my mind, is that he's actually challenging the way that the religious leaders think about God the Father. Because in the creation story of Genesis 1, we see that God works six days and then he rests on the seventh, and then he commands and teaches the people of God, the Hebrew people, to rest on the seventh day. Well, what Jesus is saying here is God is still working. God gave us the format for what people need, but God doesn't need rest. God is infinite. And he doesn't need anything, let alone does he ever get tired or weary and frustrated with his inability to get things done or needing for his body to repair. No, God is infinite and God doesn't need any of that. God doesn't need rest. Instead, he modeled it because of our need. And so what he's saying is God's working even on the Sabbath day. And I think sometimes as believers in scripture, we have a tendency to have almost pulled out from scripture this false idea that because God modeled for us to rest on the Sabbath or um, transferred to the Lord's day, depending on how you understand scripture, that when we gather together, that God is somehow resting, but he's not. He's infinite. And as Jesus teaches in this passage, he's working even until now. And Jesus is sa says, and so am I. Now it goes on that they sought to kill him because he was claiming that God was his father and that he was equal with God and all of this stuff plays in, but Jesus is showing us that God has everything under control. You and I get to rest. We get to take time off because God doesn't stop working. Because God is taking care of us. It's actually an act of worship when we do rest because we're saying, God, I trust you. I hope this has been encouraging and challenging. Make sure this week you take some time off because God's got you. He doesn't stop working. God bless.